Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another video. Callie is taking a couple vacation days, which means that it's our responsibility to do some eBay shipping today. So I figured I would just ship these items out and show you guys how we ship the stuff on eBay and how much it costs. So I got my four items here. Uh, more than likely, yeah, I would say more than likely I'm gonna be using um, just poly envelopes and padded flat rate envelopes. So these we buy on eBay. Um, I wanna say it's something like four cents a bag or something like that. We buy them by the thousand. So a thousand at a time, and I think they're 10 by, what are these, 10 by 14 bit? Yes. Yeah? 14, 14 by 10. The padded flat rate envelopes we get from the USPS website for free. You can get them for free, as well as like other boxes. Anything uh, priority mail, like the priority branded mail boxes, you can get for free on that website. So the other thing you may want to consider getting is a scale, like a nice little portable scale. We use this little AccuCheck scale and I'll put links to all this stuff in the description of the video as well but this has been a good scale we use it every single day it goes up to 50 pounds and it's fairly accurate so this pair of women's Minnetonka shoes sold for $35 with free shipping so I'm gonna put them on the scale first and see how much they weigh and they are one pound 5.1 ounces so I know I cannot ship them first class mail because that's reserved for items 16 ounces or less so I can't use the poly bag um, now the thing about these shoes is that they're they're pretty foldable like they're not going to get damaged if I put them in a in a padded flat rate envelope so that's what I'm going to do so padded flat rate envelope shove them on in here One trick to these bags, if you are trying to shove like something big into the bag, if you grab a pair of scissors and you just make like a little slit at the end of the bag, it'll let the air come out as you push the item in. So as you push the item into the bag, that air has a place to escape. So in the bag, thank you card. We get these printed locally. We pay like $120 for 5,000 of them. So they're super, super cheap. Nice, high quality, double-sided. Um, at the very least, I would suggest doing a little handwritten thank you note, just saying thank you, please leave positive feedback. So that goes in the bag and I can seal it up. These padded flat rate envelopes, you do not have to weigh because they're flat rate. So however much the weight is, it doesn't really matter. So when I go to buy shipping on eBay, it's gonna cost us $7.52 to ship just like this in this bag. That's with our discount through eBay's shipping service. And then once I have my label, I just pop it on the bag. And there, one item done. Very easy. So let's do the next item. And typically, by the way, guys, when we're doing stuff like this, when there's a multitude of items, we will use the bulk shipping program in eBay. So we'll ship them all at once, but I'm breaking it down individually just for this video so I can show you guys how we do it. So the next item is this Black Sabbath t-shirt. Pretty cool tee. It sold for $150, plus another $6 shipping. So 156 bucks for this tea. And Callie's not here, so now I'm gonna have to fold this. Callie's folds are way better than mine, but here we go. Don't forget to tell them about SigCon. True, that's a good point, babe. So on items that are $150 or more, so items that sell for $150 or more, we put signature confirmation on them. You don't have to. Um, I think eBay requires it for like over $700 or something like that. But just to be safe for us, uh, we do over 150 that looks fine that's good enough good enough <laughs> so we used to take the t-shirts and wrap them in i don't have any here but we used to wrap them in clear plastic bags and then take the clear plastic bag and put it in one of these blue poly bags but we thought that it is nice for presentation but we thought that that was kind of like a waste of plastic and we don't want to create more waste than we need to so now we just fold up the items and place them directly in one poly bag. So shirt goes in the bag. Thank you note goes in the bag. Trash goes on the ground or the table. <laughs> I'm gonna weigh this up. 7.2 ounces, so we would round up to eight ounces. So a first class package, eight ounces is $3.25. And then I want to add signature delivery, which is an additional $2.65, but it's worth it, I promise you. So total to ship this out is gonna be $5.90. Now we're 
that one time someone tried to claim that they didn't get something from us and we were like, you signed it. We put SIGCOM on it and then they're like, oh, well then my account was hacked. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. So label goes directly on the bag. We use these thermal labels. You don't have to. Uh, we use a, a Rolo printer. We've had it for years and it's worked really, really well. Um, I know that Rolo is coming out with like a wireless version of that printer soon. So I don't know if I would go buy it now if you want to because it's kind of expensive the one that's out now, or if you should wait a couple months for the wireless one to come out, but definitely thermal printers are good. They use no ink, so just in the money that you save on not buying ink for a printer, you save. So. And the convenience yeah. of not having to stress about running out of ink or a drop of water fruiting the label. True. Next. Next. What's next? We're going to do the shoes next. So these are Chicago, what are these, Sacconi? I don't know how you say that brand name, actually. Is it Sacconi? Is it? No, it's Sacconi. Is it Sacconi? No, it's Sacconi. Okay. So I'm going to weigh them out. Let's see how much they weigh. Oh, 14.4 ounces. So let me make sure that's right. Yeah, so I actually am just going to ship these in a poly bag. Just put them in nicely. Nice technique, babe. You like that? Yeah, you're good at it. That's what all the ladies tell me. <laughs> ladies? <laughs> and gentlemen. No judging. Okay, so in the bag with a thank you note. Now it weighs 14.8 ounces. So this will ship as 15 ounces first class mail. Oh, also they sold for $40 with free shipping. So it's gonna cost us $5.12 first class mail to ship them out. And again, I just wanna stress, you don't need a fancy printer. We used just a regular printer for like a year and we didn't even have sticky labels. We would just print the labels out and tape them. So it's not like a necessity when you first start out, but it is very helpful as you grow. It was annoying taping a long now. It was. We should have invested in it quite a while before we actually got it, but you know how it is sometimes you want to save the money. But if this is just a hobby, a little part-time thing, yeah, yeah. Not unless necessary. you're selling massive amounts. All right, the last thing I'll show you, which, I mean, you already saw the t-shirt, so this is about the same type of shipping, but toss it on the scale. When you said the same type of shit, and I thought you were going to say, you know. <laughs> same different day. <laughs> yeah. So seven ounces on this bathing suit. It's another little trick there, blow the bag out. <laughs> In the poly bag with the thank you note. By the way, this is all typically done over there. So it's like all in line, no like running back and forth, but for the sake of the camera, you know. Yeah, there's a wall there. All right, so with the bag and thank you note, we're at seven ounces. Print shipping label. <laughs> I just like to get the air out. Of it. It's just gonna go back in though. I know, but I like it to be like that. For when I put the label on, it makes it easier. Does it though? Yeah. Three dollars and twenty-three cents. Purchase some print label. <laughs> what were you doing? Nothing. There we go. Label goes on the bag and those four items are shipped. So that took me, shipping individually took me like 10 minutes. It really is very, very quickly and that's with like explaining everything to you guys as well. So it's really not that hard. Um, and if you use the bulk shipping feature as well, this would have taken maybe five minutes to ship out. So once you have like your systems in place, you have all your supplies around you, make sure you order them in advance because it takes a long time sometimes for USPS to ship their free stuff out. But if you have all your stuff in place, it makes it a lot easier. And hopefully that helps you guys on how we ship stuff out. Um, we didn't ship anything large, so maybe I can add that into the video as well. Or maybe I'll get Callie to show you guys how we ship larger items as well. Actually, you know what, let's do that. I'll jump over, I'll film Callie on another day, and I'll edit it in and jump over to show you guys how we ship out larger stuff as well. So let's go over to an item like this. A car receiver. Yeah, so a much heavier item. What does this weigh? Six pounds. So this thing weighs six pounds. So how would you ship it, Kelly? Well, it's also fragile. True. Or fragile, depending on where you're from. <laughs> <laughs> so with this, this is something you want to float in a box. And what that means is basically you want to bubble wrap this as best you can and then put in the bottom of a box and you wanna have space around it. So you don't wanna get a box, can you see this? Yeah. You don't wanna get a box that's like a perfect fit because it could get 
yeah. broken on the sides. You could easily snap off. So what you want to do is get a big box, fill it with bubble wrap or puffs or a bunch of packing paper, and then you've got your receiver all bubbled up, and then you just put that on the bubbling and create like a floating technique. So you'd put this on top of these bubbles, put more, put more on top of it so that it's just floating in there, and then you would basically just tape up the box and I give it a little shake and make sure you don't hear or feel anything moving around and then you know it's safe. Nice. And then a box like this, again, we get them from Home Depot if we need a bigger box or we use a recycled box if we can. Something like this is going to go FedEx more than likely. Right. More than likely. And with this too, you can, um, you can tweak these boxes because this is a little big. It's the right length I needed, but it's a little too tall mm. and you can just cut them down like we did with these boxes. Right. So this box is normally twice this height, but you just cut each side. I show you over here. So you would just go into the box and cut from like here up on all of them. And then you can just fold it in to make a Franken box. Yes. And then last item we want to show you is something that's a bit strange. So something like a baseball bat. Swing, Cali, 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 Cali. So this, you would either ship in one of these, which is, uh, I think it's called triangle box. Yeah, triangle two box. On the website. Um, also free on yeah. the USPS website. And these can be either priority mail or express mail. So when you're folding these up, make sure you fold it the right way and ship it the right way. Because if you fold it with this on the outside mm -hmm. and pay for priority mail, you haven't paid enough money. Correct. So make sure you fold it the right way. Like this. Nice. Magic. And then with stuff like this, what I like to do is put bubble wrap on one end. So you just secure one end of it. And this just helps it from rattling around in the box and getting damaged. And then I would do the same on this end and close it up. And again, with something like this, it's a larger item, but it's light. Um, it's right. typically still going to be cheaper to ship at USPS priority. Uh, but you still want to check. You want to check your weights. You want to look at FedEx to see if it is cheaper to put in a, a different box. Create your own box if right. you need to. So two pounds. So again, going back to that, if it's under three pounds rule, it's probably going to be cheaper to go USPS. So right. even though this is a big box, it's still under three pounds. It's going to be cheaper to go that way. It's also going to get to the customer faster. And it's also easier to just have this box ready to go yeah. instead of having to go and create your own box. So then on the larger scale, something like this box, this is a large Home Depot box and it weighs 43 pounds. So now we're talking about something that's very heavy, a larger box. How would we ship that? So this is definitely going FedEx because I think it's like twice the amount if you use USPS. Yeah, that's so a lot. FedEx, UPS, DHL, whatever's cheaper in your area, I guess. Um, but this is FedEx for us. And FedEx home delivery seems to be a good one to use on eBay. Mm -hmm. um, if you're sh shipping something outside of eBay, we like to go to PayPal and use UPS ground. Um, it's, it's typically pretty fairly priced as well, but not USPS. It doesn't make sense to pay that much money. So for large, heavy things, UPS or FedEx is best. And that, guys and girls, is how we ship stuff on eBay. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it if you would like to share it, if there's other people that need help with how to ship stuff on eBay. Hopefully you've enjoyed it again, and we'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Ryan Roots. Peace and chicken grease. Peace out.